Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. So basically, yesterday I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys whether you would want to see a me review my United E175 in the Continental delivery, and you guys overwhelmingly voted yes. I believe it was 91% yes, 9% no. So that's just amazing. Thank you guys so much for participating in the poll. Uh, but anywho, here is the video slash review of the model. Without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, so, uh, there's no box that came with this, um, now, uh, basically, here's some backstory. The whole reason, or how I got it, was because, basically, back in September, um, if you guys go back to my very first unboxing video, I unboxed, um, Quantity 380, Delta MD90, Delta MD90, I sold separately, but the Quantity 380, I traded with Aviation DSM, uh, he gave me an American 77 800 in the Chrome Liver, which you can go check out. Uh, and this model. Now, I knew that this model doesn't have a box, so please don't put hate on Aviation DSM that he, that when I traded with him, he gave me, uh, an Ewan to have no box. Please don't put hate on him. He's a really good guy. Uh, and I'll link his YouTube channel and Instagram down in the description. Uh, but since there's no box, I guess we should just get on with the details of the model. Starting off with the details on this model, you have the cockpit windows, Starling Line logo, L1 door, old United Express titles, SkyWest logo down here, engines, uh, you have the winglets, which is blue with a golden stripe, uh, like the bottom, which is golden stripe and tan. Um, yeah, you have the winglets. The windows, which oddly the E175 doesn't have emergency exits, which is which, which is quite weird. Um, as most other aircraft do, but, uh, anywho, you have the L2 door, American flag, um, we'll put it down here so you guys can see better, the American flag, the registration, which is November 163 Sierra Yankee, and the old United Globe tail, and of course you have, uh, the old bottom of United's fuselage, which is, oh god, the voice crack, but, uh, uh, you have the old bottom of the United's fuselage, which is just uh, a golden stripe with tan on the bottom. Uh, and this is the bottom of the aircraft. Uh, you got the front landing gear. All the landing gear is intact, of course. Uh, and then you have this and antenna and the Gemini Jets logo. Um, but, this is, but this is very weird, very peculiar. Is I have no idea what this is. Um, but I don't know if this goes, comes on every model or just this release. Uh, but anywho, the only difference between the, uh, right side and left side of the model is these cargo doors. Uh, but other than that, the model is completely symmetrical. The, um, paint on both sides of the model is completely symmetrical. And that is the details for this model. Oh, and by the way, it's Gemini if I didn't mention. Yeah, so the only reason why I got this model, uh, was because I need... A ton of E-175s, uh, E-175s, E-170s, and E-145s, and 135s for Newark. Um, so yeah, that is the reason why I got the model. And with that being said, that does come to this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know that's one of my videos. And comment down below what you think of this model. And please go check out Aviation DSM's channel. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.